USD JPY daily time frame this stop was your speculation for Bank of Japan rate hike and in their monetary policy decision they said that they will not do yield curve control indirectly they are saying they are not doing rate hike but market do not believe what central bank are saying it made double top then it immediately came down first this was your trend line already tested four times and this is your new trend line and this trend line has also tested four times so if you want to buy technically you can buy because it is a test of this trend line and your upside target will be 138 but long term trend is bearish and macro trend is bearish because if you see ECB and Bank of Japan both are waiting for official confirmation of rate pause from Fed. So first we have to wait for official announcement of rate pause from Fed then your first rate cut and maybe after first rate cut BOJ will do rate hike. So timing of Bank of Japan rate hike can be December this year or first quarter next year. But you all know market always trade 3 month or 12 month in advance. And if this is your chart pattern then correction is not done and it can come down then wait for final wave E. And after correction end then we will sell wave E. And if this trend line breaks because we have two white trend line then you can start selling and target will be new lower low below 127 GPUSD daily time frame first it bent up then it made a AVC flat correction now it is going up it has made new high and if you have watched my old video then you can see price is testing that same resistance which I am telling you for more than two months. So this is your key horizontal resistance and next target is 61% retracement of this complete bearish trend top to bottom. But one thing you should remember as a beginner trader we are in recession mode. Fed is saying mild recession while FOMC member Bullard after breakout period said soft landing is still possible. While market is speculating for hard landing. In case of hard landing dollar bullish and if dollar bullish that means GPUSD will go down. But one thing you should focus that this bottom will survive or not. Because that will be temporary correction after correction. Fed will start QE monetary policy. Then dollar will collapse and these pair will fly. So for fresh new entry do not buy before clear breakout of this resistance. If it goes up then buy retest. Because based on FIV extension tool you can see length of wave C must be higher than this level. So we have more price action based on FIV extension tool. And Euro USD weekly time frame to trade dollar these three pair are best this year in currency usd jpy euro usd 
and commodity cold is best so when dollar strength return because of hard recession so if dollar goes up euro usd has to go down and your first minimum target will be that previous support level and that can be your abc support and after market crash fed start qe monetary policy then dollar will collapse and euro usd will go to moon and right now price is in the middle above support level but below resistance and if you see daily time frame then in theory euro usd and gold both are same both are testing a trend line and going up constantly and 50% retracement from top to bottom is done this is your next target 61% retracement and this area 11861 is your next horizontal resistance if it comes down then this lower trend line will be your first dynamic support level because if you see h4 time frame trend line is broken and price is trading below trend line since this top you can see it is not going anywhere it is sideways and in the last if we see dollar index daily time frame price is sideways on this 101 horizontal support level neither up neither down just sideways and be ready for upside correction up to 104 and next year fed will do again qe monetary policy so long term trend bearish but that upside correction depends on market crash on dollar index h4 time frame this is your trend line this was your fake breakout and now it is coming down from this trend line all the hedge fund have already sold dollar for rate cut and market pricing for rate cut is almost done so selling on this level can be trap and next bearish wave on dollar this was your first which was rate cut and next will be qe and it is not happening this year and qe will not start before market crash so dollar index is sideways and on current price section you do not have clear signal and if you compare all pair usd jpy have clear signal to trend line gp usd also have clear signal a horizontal resistance euro usd do not have clear signal and on h4 there is trend line breakout and gold because all of this trade depends on dollar price action gold have pallor channel on daily time frame 